but let's get this started. I'd like to introduce Chris Sabat and Chuck Huber. Come on up here, guys. This, uh, wow, these are colorful um, mic cables. Yes, yes they are. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Uh, so for those of us that might not know on the rare occasion that someone who doesn't know what you guys do, why don't you just fill us in a little bit, tell us some of what you know for. Yeah, I started, uh, oh God, it's so loud. I st I'm so loud. I started uh, anime voice acting in the role of Garlic Jr. in a show called Dragon Balls. Yeah. Oh, I think it's called Dragon Ball Z. Um, there was a director who cast me in it. He was a big fat jerk named Chris. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was uh, actually quite skinny back then. <laughs> and uh, after that, I did Android 17 and Hie in Yu Yu Hakusho and Dr. Stein in Soul Leader. Yes! And uh, Austria in Italia. <laughs> Italian favorites. Yeah. We love them. Uh, uh, that's a good uh, sort of rundown of me. What about you? Uh, my name is Christopher Sabat. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I have a studio. It's called Okratron 5000. We record video game and anime voiceovers for uh, video games and anime. And I started uh, like 12 years ago, right before Chuck got there, and we were working on this little tiny show on this, this tiny company. At the time, they had like four four employees or something like that. They were called Funimation, and. Um, and they were bringing this little show called Dragon Ball Z to the United States. And um, I just stumbled onto an audition for those guys and they, they later asked if I would help cast and direct the series. So I looked down and I'm like, what, you're gonna pay me $20,000 a year to cast and direct this show? Oh, hell yeah, of course. <laughs> so I jumped on board and then uh, I, I had the, the beautiful pleasure of having to just pull actors from the woodwork because it was such a it was an untested show like it wasn't huge yet you know it wasn't it wasn't the weird phenomenon it is today we they were just still trying to get it on tv so uh actors didn't understand it and the the really expensive actors didn't want to do it because it would hurt their voices um so yeah it was it was a crazy long process i played it in the process because we had so few actors at the beginning and because he could cast himself yeah um I was Vegeta and Piccolo and Yamcha. Thank you. Thank you. And a, and a couple of other characters in the first season. Because whenever an actor had to go on tour or uh, got sick or didn't want to do the role anymore and we didn't have time, I'm like, I'll just do it. It's fine. Again, I didn't know at the time that it was going to be, this show was going to be as important as it was. No, so. not at all. So we're just like, I'll, I'll do it. I'll just get in there and do it. Um, I played uh, Kuwabara on Yu Yu Hakusho show after that. Uh, Alex Louise Armstrong in Full Metal and Sarah and Wonders and uh, Sergeant Frog and other things. So oh, that's right, we're in Sergeant Frog together. Yes, I love your character. I love your character. Thank you. <laughs> ka, ka, ka. Clicky poo. Yes. All right. Well, I'm sure a lot of us would like to know, and if you haven't figured it out by now. Apologies to the anime purist. This is dubbed, not subbed. If you haven't put that together, by now. Um, I'm the subtitled voice of Vegeta. I do all the typing for he is subtitling. All right. Well, what are some of your favorite characters you played over the years? Go ahead, Chuck. My absolute favorite character, um, if I had to pick one, would have to be Hie from Yu Yu Hakusho. Yeah, because I've never been to a convention, and they were like, uh, Hey, Chuck, we're going to take you to a convention. And I was like, okay. And I was like, why? They're like, for Yu Yu Hakusho. And I was like, okay, what am I going to do? Like, pass out flyers? Like, watch my show, Yu Yu Hakusho. It's a great show. They're like, no, you're going to sign autographs. And I was like, you're stupid. And they were like, no, you're stupid. And then they brought me to this little convention called Otakon. It's got like 40,000 people at it. And um, they're, they're like, hey, we're going to pay for your plane ticket. I'm like, oh my god, free plane ticket? <laughs> and they're like, we're going to put you in a hotel. I'm like, really? 
And then they sat me down at a table like this, and they were like, and now you're gonna sign autographs. And I was like, no, I'm not. Because I didn't know anybody cared about, I was like, I've never signed an autograph in my life. And they're like, no, you're gonna sign autographs for four hours. And I'm like, you are so stupid. And they were, I was like, they see you at the table, and you know how they have the autograph line cued back from the table? I sit down at the table, and I was like, see, there's no one here. And they were like, no, that is, <laughs> yeah. Your line. And I was like, oh my god. And then like the first seven minutes of it were really scary because those people had been in line probably for like several hours and had to pee really bad and really, really loved EA. And so they That's came, a bad combination. Yes, I know. They came up kind of looking like this. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh. And then, like, after seven minutes of that, I, I was like, oh, these are all my friends from high school, just they have to pee really bad. And then I was more relaxed, because I was like, oh, the internet connects them, they don't have to hide their geekdom anymore. And then, then I was cool, because I was like, oh, okay, I get this. And they were, they were, you know, then all my friends. And now you're all my friends. So he is my favorite for that reason, because he's the first, you know, character that people loved me for. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, let's see. There's characters that I that are my favorite characters. Like Vegeta, oddly enough, I know it's a lame Woo! answer, but I've I've been playing that character for 15 years now. It's like it's a long time to be playing the same character, and I feel very comfortable working with him. But I have had a lot of fun working on, on some other shows. Uh, I think it was, I had more fun working on it than it, actually the show is. Good, but I loved uh, Pantheon Stocking featuring Gardevoir. I played Gardevoir, he was a guy that was super tall, man. Uh, and um, actually, Sergeant Frog is one of the shows I always loved working on, too. If you guys haven't seen that, I highly recommend it. Yeah, Sergeant Frog is a lot of fun. That's the one show that my children really, really like got into. I showed my oldest son like Dragon Ball Z when it first came out, and he was like, Yeah, okay, I'll watch it, Dad. <laughs> Is this fight gonna go on forever? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yes. pretty much. He's like, uh, okay, so I'm not really into that. Welcome to Albertsons. My name's Petita. How can I help you pick out vegetables, you alien looking creature? <laughs> How can I help you pick out vegetables, you alien looking creature? One. Yeah. <laughs> I want to find some vegetables to push into the dead zone. <laughs> Do you have any asparagus? Uh, are you looking for something green and organic? Oh my god. <laughs> I am really interested in seeing you die. Whoa, you're such a downer, man. Oh, what's going on? The bull will be right there. Oh my god, what are these people got? Someone get a, I, I can't see any of the produce. Your wish has been granted. Ah! Sweet, done. Awesome. Dragons. I'm all the dragons. Do you know how you can tell how powerful a dragon is? How? How? By the size of his balls. <laughs> can you do like your favorite quote? Or Servant woman, bring me a drying cloth at once! <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Oh, I'll do my best. <laughs> Hi. Hi. All I see are the whitest teeth I've ever seen. <laughs> beautiful, a beautiful smile lights up the room, lights up my heart. <laughs> Character, no offense. I know you're dressed like him. Don't, don't cry. Don't cry, Kakarot. Actually, yes, do cry. For decades. Um, I think Vegeta, it, it, as far as a, 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 a character is concerned, is a much better character than Goku is. He's a far more rounded character. Because Goku is just a dude who has a head injury that happened to be nice and just wants to fight people for pretty much no reason. But Vegeta, if you think about his backstory, man, the guy, like, 
was his whole planet was eradicated. He watched it happen, and then he was kidnapped by the person who destroyed everyone that he knew and raised by him. So I, I think he's got a pretty deep little backstory, and so I just like playing him. He's just so permanently angry, and, hey. and I can really, I, I, I can't necessarily, I can't say I can relate with him in any other way than I just really appreciate his backstory. So I like. Him. All right, let's keep going. I'm like, <laughs> we can do it. So, do you have a question about the Broly movie, or no? All right, next. No, I didn't direct it. The next. end. Next, next. person. Right, thank you. Season. Next. Uh, my question is for Chuck. How, how often do people show you pictures of their dogs wearing wigs? Oh, I get a lot of dogs wearing <laughs> wigs on the end. It's because I played Shout Tucker in full. But stop it. It's okay. <laughs> fetch, Nina. Fetch. I know that Dragon Ball Z is a uh, series with uh, notable story flaws. Uh, no. <laughs> what? Yes, what? yes, yes. Other than the uh, whole. Thank God GT fixed all those. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, GT. Really deserved to exist. <clears throat> the greatest thing that I've noticed about the character is that there are notable plot holes that I never could understood. That I wonder how he would deal like those. For example, for Android 17, he had so many choices to not get absorbed, to run away, even though that 16 or 18 could just simply throw him out of the battlefield, uh, comedically, of course, but he just stood to say and break his character, and for Vegeta, he could have, well, I don't know why he let Cell transform, where in the previous instance... Because he wanted to see what Cell's ultimate power was, because he was obsessed with power and he has to be better than other people, but he didn't want to just kill him right away, he wanted to make sure the power, he was at his full power before he fought him. Yeah. At 17, he really just really likes getting sucked up tails. Uh, yeah. So he wanted to see what it was like on the inside. I see. Even though he let Frieza transform, and then when Frieza transformed, he was humiliated, he cried like a baby, he died. Yeah, well, there was a bad mistake, but he didn't regret it because he only came back stronger because when Saiyans die, they come up, they, they were even close to death, they come back way stronger. Yeah, and Android 17 likes my little pony. Uh, can you be a shy voice for us? My Stein voice? Yes. I could, but then I'd have to dissect you. <laughs> I see what your parents are talking about. <laughs> Why did you sew a patch in my boxers? Because your bottom was showing. <laughs> The end. Elof was really my best imitation of Edith Bunker from All in the Family. So, Emperor Pilaf is really a 60-year-old woman from Queens. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way to... The, the, we usually can keep the, the voices in check because they'll give us a reference and we'll do only that character. Um, how do you feel about Prussia? <laughs> Prussia's super sexy. <laughs> and you have Prussia over here, just to prove it, huh? See, I was totally right. I have Vegeta's voice. <laughs> and then, and then I hear uh, Chuck, uh, Dragon of the dark Darkness Flame. Dragon of the Darkness Flame! <laughs> <laughs> what is your relationship with the uh, Elric Brothers? I love the boys so much. <laughs> they make me cry every time. They're the boys that have been passed down the Armstrong line for generations. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, will you marry Krillin? Will I marry Krillin? Yeah. Will Dr. Stein marry Krillin? Yeah. No, I think Dr. Stein wants Medusa. <laughs> Why would I marry Krillin? That's such a weird honor. I love it. Go, go, go. Ask your question. Answer it. Oh, fine. Um, this is for Zara. Um, yeah. How does it feel to play such a cool character that with free sword style? Is it tough to pull up uh, doing the voice acting for when he's holding the sword in his mouth? Uh, it's funny. Yeah. It, Zoro is one of the easier voices I get to do because it's the only voice I play that's, well, in my opinion, is close to my voice. It's really my natural speaking voice is what 
Zora was, just with an attitude. And I remember when we were first doing the, the One Piece series, somebody was like, you should put a pencil in your mouth when you do all the sword stuff. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna do that. One, because I don't wanna put a pencil in my mouth. Two, because I'm gonna lose that pencil and then at some session I'm gonna have to grab somebody's random pencil and put it in my mouth. So the only thing I could trust is like when I do his voice, I, uh, in my, I don't know how to clean my hands are, but I'll put my finger in my mouth. Because it's really hard to, to speak with something in your mouth and make it under, understandable. So when I have my finger in my mouth, I can still do at least most of the sounds, and you guys will understand what I'm saying. And his three sword style is always funny to me because it sounds like he just has some, like, he just makes up the attacks as he goes along. He's like, three sword style, a uh, uh, cat suit, McDonald's, Happy Meal, 99 cents, what? <laughs> Be dubbed, and the, the Japanese premiere is in about a month from now. I hear Emperor Pilaf's in it. That I would not be surprised. That's what I hear. I actually know he's in it. He's just trying to be coy. Thank you. Like 1999. It was right after we had replaced some of the original Canadian cast members. And so, a panel like this would have about six people in it. And I go, <clears throat> chirp, 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 chirp. We go, um, anyone have any questions? No one will raise their hand. And finally, someone will raise their hand and go, Why'd you guys change the voices? I'm like, I, I don't know, I'm one of the new voices, so it's kind of weird to ask me that. And they, why'd you change the music? I'm like, oh man, I don't know. <laughs> not, not my decision. So it was really negative at first, but it's really taken a turn. Everyone just loves Dragon Ball now. Yeah. Woo. Um, we're uh, working on my so solo album and stuff, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that was a well played question. Poir was real. I'm still losing film, but it's still bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a question yeah. for EA. What? I can answer it. Kuwabara's an idiot. Oh, that was a question. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Sorry, man. You're an idiot. Yeah. This question is for Stein. <laughs> How do you feel about, like, the drawings and fan fictions that people write about you and spirit? Oh, you mean... Yahweh? Yes! <laughs> Uh, yeah, everybody can do their own stuff. I don't have any particular interest in dudes, because I like girls. So, what people do with a two-dimensional character of mine is their own business, I suppose. I just realized you have to be very careful with the way you pronounce Yowie and Yahweh. I know, I was trying to mix it up. <laughs> All right. Two very different ah! things. Or are they? <laughs> yes. Thank y'all both for being such a big part of my life. Like, no problem, seriously, it was great. Yeah, it was easy. Uh, okay. uh, <laughs> I would just like to say, I, I had, huh? I'd like to think I had a hand in your birth. Too. Yeah, I, I also I also think I deserve 10% of whatever you make from yeah. here on out. If y'all knew my parents, and you probably did. Remember um, that awesome time you had? That was that, you know, that one thing yeah. that you really liked. That was my idea. Yeah. So is there anything um, I don't know, like special that y'all do to get into character to... To, to do I'm a very, I'm, I'm a physical actor, I have to physicalize. If a character is big like Kabito, then I have to physically... Yeah. I couldn't do Austria for a while without my hands being up and shaking like this. I don't know why. The way this, this armor that he's wearing, I get to bring that home with me. What? Actually, yeah. the other arm over there with the voice. Nice! Yeah. I have a question for you. What is your favorite Vegeta of all the series? My favorite Vegeta of all the series? It would be Majin Vegeta. Yeah. Where he finally yes. clocks Goku over the back of the head and says, Drop the mic. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> what is the name of your, hey, what's your website again? It's cosplay, is it cosplay? Cosplaycorp.net. Cosplaycorp.net. He's cosplay made it hundreds of these and sent them all over the world. I think we should wear them out to Denny's. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, is this our last question? Last question. Yeah, I'll shut it down right here. Don't worry about it. Um, in the new movie, uh, Vegeta goes Super Saiyan God, right? Not Super Saiyan, but he goes Super I don't know. God. I've seen pictures of rumors. I've heard rumors myself. But really, we, we haven't seen the final, I haven't seen the final movie yet. So I don't really know. I, just, I have seen images of it, but I don't. I don't really like. 
who knows? Like, it's a lot of speculation at this point. I think Emperor Pilaf wishes for himself to be Super Saiyan God and accidentally throws it on Vegeta and then kills Krillin. Oh, yes. You ever feel awkward when you're just screaming into a mic and you're doing power? Uh, I mean, it's gotta, people always think we're watching, like, it's gotta be weird just sitting in a room yelling into a mic. Yeah, occasionally the third eye pops out, you know, goes doink like this, and you're like, my job is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> It is true. Uh, the it, it was a lot weirder at first, but now we're, it's so automatic. And yeah, it, now it's not only automatic, but you're expected to be at, at expert level of it. You know, like there is no messing around. You better know how to do this yeah. right. This is serious business now. When people would come in, as I as I mentioned earlier, there there were some people that came in that weren't trained voice actors, and even some that were. And it, with Chuck, I didn't have to worry about this, but with a lot of other actors, I used to have to give them this little speech because as the voice director of Dragon Ball Z, it was my job to make sure the, the show sounded as awesome as it looked. In the celebrity area, I am in the artist alley right over here with my lovely girlfriend, Jessica, and you can come see me there. I know Chris will be over in the celebrity area. I'll be right on the other side of this wall, like right over there. Get that famous. I'm famous. Big round of applause for these guys. They're so <laughs> 